Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. What up, motherfuckers? Welcome back to another episode of Open Mic Night. I'm going to stop procrastinating. I'm going to write the freaking jokes right freaking now. Tonight we're going to Apex L Works Open Mic in Independence, Missouri. We get five minutes. Should be a fun time. All right, first off, I'm going to call upon the muse. Get to work. Dear muse, please, please give me the greatest jokes of all time. Or just some, just give me some funny jokes. Give me some good jokes that will make the boys laugh. Make the women want to fuck me. <laughs> Thank you, muse. Thank you. Please inspire me. Thank you for all the jokes you've given me thus far. I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, sweet. Now we're just going to light the candle and get to work. Okay, motherfuckers, I wrote the jokes. Here we go. Number one. I decided to stop wearing condoms. It just seems pointless to wear them when you're not having sex. Number two. When you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. When you have a condom, everything looks like a vagina. Couch cushions, stick a condom in there, fuck it. Sponge cake, Spongebob, buttholes, that chair, that guy. All right, number three. Guys are lazy about masturbating, but only on the cleanup part. We'll jerk off into a sock, jerk off directly into a sink, just throw tissues everywhere. That's why we like to fuck girls, because you come in their pussy and then they have to clean it up. See, it's the perfect crime. All right, number four. Israel versus Palestine. I know you guys have been waiting for me to touch on this. Okay, no, I'm kidding. Okay, Israel versus Palestine. It's weird because if I had to guess, Palestine would be the Jewish one. Goldstein, Palestine. Sounds like a dentist or something. All right, number five. I think we need to have them fuck it out. Less Hamas and more Hamas of titties. From the river and to the semen. Jerusalem. More like Jerusa come. All right, well, those are my fucking jokes for tonight. Should be fun, should be fun night. Apex Ale Works, I'll see you guys there. What's up, motherfuckers? We're about to leave for Apex Ale Works. All right, guys, we made it to Apex and it looks closed. That's not good. I literally had a feeling that the open mic might not be happening tonight. I don't know why. I mean, it is like, it's between Christmas and New Year's, so it's just a weird part of the year. But yeah, dude, I didn't text anyone. I was like, okay, I should, I should text someone to make sure the mic is happening. But I'm just like, nah, nah, it's probably happening. Notice, we are closed through the new year in order to spend time with family and loved ones. Fuck your family, bro. Just kidding, this is a great place. Cheers to all, safe and happy holidays and a very happy new year to all from us. Apex L works. All right, well, the old mic is canceled. That's fucked, whatever. Yeah, we're going to carry this episode on to tomorrow, and we're going to finish it at Murph's Pub. That's my intention, at least. If not that, yeah, we're going to have to finish this at Murph's Pub. All right. Oh, we on the way to the open mic at Murph's Pub. We got my brother David coming to support. His girlfriend Scout supporting. Actually, all my siblings are coming to support, but we had to drive separate because we have so many people. You got anything to say to the vlog? Oh, yeah, looking forward to it. Let's go. All right, peace. Okay, guys, we made it to the mic one hour later. Here, I'm going to go sign up, see what spot I get. I'm hoping for a good spot because we got here five hours, four hours early. So, David, did you enjoy that long one-hour car ride? Oh, yeah. My brother had fun on the car ride. <laughs> yeah, he DJed the whole way. It was pretty fire. Yo, guys, I signed up, and I, got, I was the first one there, and I got number five on the list. And now I'm going to go to dinner with my family, and we're going to kill time until the open mic starts. Okay, we back at the open mic. We just spent a while going to the bars. We got dinner, and we hit a couple bars. It was fun. Shout out to my sister's boyfriend for showing us around. He went to college in this town. Yeah, yo. Yeah. Yo, guys, my sisters are here. Oh, my God, don't. And my sister's boyfriend. <laughs> So. Kathleen, this is Kathleen, this is Anna, and this is Dalton. They came all the way to Lawrence to support me. 
Better from Bangkok. Yeah, we're really yeah from Bangkok to Lawrence. Yeah, she lives in Thailand right now. Can yeah, you I tell was, jokes about Thailand? No, I do have some jokes about Thailand. I have like a whole bit about it. You should tell that. I go, you should tell those jokes. They're really good. I have new, I have new jokes that I need to test out. Fair. Oh, okay. Now I just want to clarify. I wrote these jokes yesterday for a group of strangers. So I was not intending to tell these jokes in front of you guys. So how many are insults to us? None of them are insults to you. Are they insults to women? But they are kind of just really <laughs> disgusting and not even that funny. So. Oh, I am looking forward to it. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> I love a not funny joke. It's very <laughs> low. Yeah, yeah. Why do you think we're here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't expect comedy. Yeah, yeah. No. But every once in a while, Is you got to say Is this poetry? It. No. Oh. That would be better. What are we here? <laughs> what are we here for? <laughs> Sorry, we're excited. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, the show started. I'm going to be on stage in less than 10 minutes. There's about two more people before me. I'm, a, I'm get a little bit nervous and I really have to shit. But I just don't, I just don't know if I have time, you know? So, I'm just going to go on stage. And the worst part is, I know after I get off stage, I'm not going to have to shit anymore. Because like, I don't know. It just takes away the feeling. Anyways, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit nervous because my family's here, but I gotta remind myself that I don't give a fuck. Nothing matters. It's an open mic. Yeah, I just ripped ass. You guys gotta be nice, go, go stage. Michael Blank, cover Michael Blank. Yo, yo, yo. We got done with the open mic. I'm not gonna lie, it could have gone a lot better. My biggest laugh was probably just making fun of myself for not doing good. I was like, can it, does anyone have a joke I can tell? Alcohol, tobacco. Does anyone have a good joke I can tell? <laughs> That's what I would need. Yeah, dude. Israel-Palestine bit, absolutely bombed. They just need to fuck it out, right? Both the countries need to fuck it out. It needs to be like, um, not, no Hamas, more like Hamas of titties, right? <laughs> not like, from the river into the semen. <laughs> Jerusa come, right? Jeez. Oh. Condom, the first condom joke that I let off with actually worked. I decided uh, to stop wearing condoms because, I don't know, it just didn't make a lot of sense to wear condoms when you're not having sex, you know? <laughs> the room was so good. I wish I could have done better, but I did fine, I think. I have no idea how to gauge how I did. I think I did fine. There's nothing much else to say. I don't know. Anyways, now we're going to be driving back to Kansas City. We're about an hour away. I don't know when the next open mic is going to be, because the Tuesday got one got moved to Thursday. At the very latest, I'll see you at the Rhino on Wednesday, but hopefully I see you on Monday or Tuesday if I can find an open mic. But yeah, this has been Murph's Pub. It was a good time. I'm going to write better jokes next time. It is what it is. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I love you. Peace out.